Hi everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. Have you ever wondered how to create fluted panels around a circular structure or a kitchen island? Well, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's get started. Here's the kitchen island I have built and we will be placing fluted panels all around it. We will also create a round pillar to support the island bench top. I have already duplicated the kitchen island to the left side to give myself some more room to work. Step 1. Outline the area for the panels. The first step is to create an outline where the panels will be placed. I'm basically copying the existing circular shape, pasting it in place and moving it to the side to use as a future guide. Next, we will draw a straight line and copy it next to our circular guide. Then we also need a line for the side where the panels will be wrapped around. You can either draw this line from scratch or copy it from existing geometry, that's totally up to you. The goal is to create a guide so SketchUp knows where to place the panels later on. Right now these lines are separated. So let's select them all, then we click right and choose Weld Edges. This will connect them into one continuous line. So now when we select or click on the line, it's all interconnected. Step number two. Let's measure the total length of the future shape. The next step is to open the Entity Info panel, where we can check the total length of the welded line we have just created. In this example it's 4166.7 mm. Now we select the line tool and create a straight line with this exact length. It's essentially, if you were to extend the curved guided line we have just created into a straight one, it would measure the exact same length. I will now group this straight line, as you know lines are sticky and I don't want it to stick to my panel. We can always ungroup it in future steps. Step 3. Create the panel shape. Now let's design our panel shape. I'm going with a 35mm wide and 20mm deep panel. You can use guides to help you draw the shape. Whether you want a rounded, a square, triangle panel, it's entirely up to you. Use SketchUp's drawing shapes and line tool to create a flat 2D representation of your future panel design. Mine is going to be rounded. Once you have created the shape, select it along with its edges and generate a component. Then use the star symbol option to create multiple copies of this component along the length of the straight line we have just created earlier. Select all the components but deselect the guided line and group the 2D panel components together. We now have a group of components. Now we can ungroup the line we have just previously grouped by exploding it. Step 4. Push-pull the panels to their full height. Next we will use the push-pull tool to give the panels their full, full future height. In this example, the panel will be 900 mm tall, just below the bench top. Since the panels are components, they will all be pushed out at the same time. And step 5. Use the Shape Bender extension. At this point, we will use an amazing and free extension called Shape Bender by Chris Fulmer. 
you can download it from the extension warehouse. Just search for Shape Bender and install it. Let's see how to use it. The first thing to do is select the group of panel components. Then we start the Shape Bender extension tool. You will notice a little line on your selection tool. Hover over the straight line we have created earlier and click once. It worked once you see the end text appear and a wavy symbol on your select tool. With this wavy symbol active, click on the curved line. Don't move your mouse, wait for a few seconds as SketchUp needs to generate the panels. Once you see the panels appear in green, press enter and there will be created. And here we have our finished panels. Isn't this easy? Just follow the steps and you can create fluted pan panels around any round edge. Now let's move these panels and place them around the kitchen island. It took me actually a while to figure all this out, but I'm so happy to got to know this little secret that now I can share with you all. As I remember before, it took me forever to move one panel one by one and rotate it manually. This is so much easier. Now, since our island is floating, we will actually need um, to add a round pillar. We will follow the same process. I'm creating a circle with a 160 mm radius and remove the face inside. Quick note, shape bender doesn't seem to work with closed shapes as far as I have tried, so we need to break the circle by exploding the curve. I will then draw a tiny small line to break the circle by removing a piece from it, creating or generating a tiny gap basically, which won't be noticeable later on, but just so the tool can work with this line. After breaking the circle, we need to weld the edges again to form a continuous line. Now we do or repeat the same steps as before. We generate a straight line of the same length as the curve. We copy uh, an existing panel shape or create a new one as we have done in the beginning. Generate components. Group the components and use the push-pull to extend the panels to its correct height. Then we select the grouped components. Use the Shape Bander tool. Click again on the guided line. Then onto the curved line and wait a bit. Now what we see here is that our panels are actually facing inwards. Uh, if this happens, just press Escape rotate the panels just to the other side of the guided line and repeat the steps again. This time they should have bent correctly outwards and here we have our rounded pillar. It may not be perfect but I think it gets the job done especially for presenting your idea to a client or a builder. For the final touch, let's move the pillar and place it under the kitchen island. And there you have it. In just under 10 minutes, we have created fluted panels around a curved structure. If you want to see the full video on how I built this entire kitchen in just one hour, 
be sure to sign up for my interior hub through my website, where I share not only more SketchUp tutorials, but also all my furniture and material files with you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I see you in the next one.